What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to ECC Division um, 1 and Champs Division promotion, relegation, tournament kind of thing. That's, that's, that's how I'm going to say it. That's, that's the intro. Nailed it! GG's, I'm not alone. I'm joined by Machtfish and the legend that is faded. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, without coming up to the promotion relegation for the champs Div and division one as mikey just said coming up with the first match that is the two teams that finished 10th in league play for champions conference one and two on the one hand we have ascension trinity one of the og teams comprising of well a lot of players during the season but playing tonight will be jess jaffa and havoc who caught him save hashtag gaming in the game you dickhead and Agitate Auras, who are playing with Charm and two stand-ins in Serenity and Trizzletan. Fade it, what do you think about those lineup changes? Well, some interesting lineup changes to say the least. Um, so, to make it clear, this is not the main lineups of both these teams as far as I know. Um, I think, I don't know if Jez and Jaffa are actually still teamed together, but I know Havoc is definitely not on that lineup. But, to be fair, Jez and Havoc, they have that experience together, so maybe that chemistry there could help them pull through and uh, get themselves back into the Champions Division. Whereas Agitate have basically overhauled the roster. Um, it seems like Pencil and Francesco can play today, so uh, Tristan and um, who was it again? Um, I've gone blank. Serenity. Um, there we go, I can read. Um, that is a pretty interesting lineup, actually. Um, I've heard good things about both those guys as well, so. It's looking to be a juicy matchup. Um, I mean, it's effectively two pickup teams, so I don't know what to expect. Um, I've seen both these lineups play before, but I know like that's going to be completely irrelevant at this point because it's <laughs> anyone's game, really. Yeah, I think it really can be anybody's game. I, I, I at this point, you know, you've you've been through, <laughs> you've been through a hell and back throughout these last god knows how many weeks, how many roster changes we've seen. Um, and we're finally at the sort of promotion relegation tournament. Are you really? <laughs> the pressure's on to stay in that at that champions division today. But who have we actually got? Who have we actually got on both teams? What are the, what, can you just run me through the roster? Literally just did, but because you're apparently stupid and can't listen, yeah. For Ascension <laughs> Trinity, who are actually my pick as well for the prediction. Here uh, we've got Jess, Jeffa, and Havoc, which, according to the match graphic, are actually their main three players for this season. So, I I know that Jess and Jeffa definitely are sticking around. Havoc, as Fader said, is not, but I think this roster is very, very strong. And considering that Agitate have two stand-ins, I don't think that they stand a lot of a chance, but it's the best of seven, so anything can happen. Yeah, that is the beauty of a best of seven, um, where you've got quite a bit of room for error so this could be a case of agitate trying to figure out ascension trinity and see how they can get through of course i do expect agitate to not play an orthodox player style you could say at least the one you'd expect that would be a established team will be more um you know kind of just you know you throw three running people together it's almost like in ranks um maybe there's a bit more sophisticated than that so um i mean on paper you would say yeah ascension trinity do have the upper hand um, but I'm not here to count or agitate. It's really Mikey isn't counting them out. In fact, let's ask you, why have you gone for agitate with this one, Mikey? Because you're going against the other two people that have made predictions to the desk. Well, just because you're both idiots and you always get it wrong, so my thought was, <laughs> if, with, if you two have wow. gone with the Central Trinity, I'll go with agitate because y'all, y'all are just, you guys are just you. <laughs> That's the politest way I can put it. Uh, but... To be fa to be fair though, the charm and serenity. I remember they have teamed before, so it's not like they don't know each other like at all. That it's not is serenity true. playing. Serenity yes. is playing. Who is Serenity's hashtag playing. gaming? Can somebody fill me in? Who That's is Havoc. hashtag gaming? That's Havoc. Havoc. I'm gonna need you to stop with this changing of the name business, so I can be sat here <laughs> like hashtag gaming. No, your name is Havoc. Please don't change your name and confuse my brain. Thank you very much. All right. Well, I think <laughs> I think we've had enough of this. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> much analysis. Uh, that glad you agree, Mikey. So I think both the teams um, they're ready. I think they're actually sick of waiting for us to finish this. So we're just gonna let them have that. It's so Max and Mikey, take it away, boys. 
Let's get it. We're getting into it. We're finally going to get into this game with the stupid names. But it's going to be a good one. Oh. So we get into the kickoff. Jaffa winning that fairly easily. Jaffa winning the exchange there in the middle as well. He's going to go for the shot. And he's going to get the goal. Five seconds. Ill. Amazing stuff from Ascension Trinity. Yeah, Jeffo, just really good dunk and then avoiding the demo from Trizzletan. Just good, good follow up from after the kickoff with an early goal. And I see Havoc using the Samurai, a big card choice that I that I really think it's going to help him tonight because the Samurai is the best, is one of the best cards in the game. Absolutely, as we're getting, getting back underway. Jaffa again winning the 50 as the clear comes in from Chan. Jez is going to go. He gets a second touch. It's cleared out of the area. He's going to go for the shot. Unable to do so, but Serenity is there. Bounces off the backboard and Jaffa with a fairly easy clear. Bounces off the wall yet again. Jez is going to go for it. He's going to get the touch, but Serenity there to block it once again. Four minutes 20 on the clock as Jaffa is forced to forced to go a little bit awkward to get the save. The shot is off Charm. He's going to have to catch that fairly well. He does indeed do that. He tries to pinch it against the corner, but doesn't get any power on that. Serenity is going to go for it, getting a few touches, sending it back downfield a minute into this game. And Ascension Trinity, they've got the goal, but has it really been all of them? Uh, no, it's been pretty back and forth, to be honest, right now. Both teams trying to settle in into the series. We see a lot of offense coming out from Adelche, though, and as I say that, Serenity, after the pass from Charm, just good speed on the area there to convert that open net. Havoc as third man just caught too far forward and going for that mid boost, very much out of position there, and Serenity is going to punish you for that one. Absolutely, and Ascension Trinity. They are going to hate him more than the chat hates Machtfish right now. As we get straight back into it, Mr. Hashtag Gaming, also known as Havoc or whatever he's going by at this point in time, tries to go for it. Jaffa with the clear. The touch is down the corner and it's get rid of for now. Havoc's going to go for the dribble. He goes for the flick, but unable to get it past anybody. He's going to go for the follow-up again, though. He does get another touch coming off it. Serenity getting a great clear, though. Just yeets it downfield a little bit. Bounced off the corner into the middle, and the clear is there again. He's just going to catch that. He's going to be really methodical and controlling right now. So it's very sort of back and forth action. Three minutes on the clock. What are one of these rosters going to have to do to, to, to break that, that, that deadlock of 1-1? One, one? I think what we're looking at here is that Ascension Trinity, and especially Havoc, is very much known for a lot of aggressive demos. If he doesn't equal about three demos per game, I'll be personally very, very disappointed in him, especially considering his great card choice. But yeah, I think if Ascension can get some of that aggressive play going and some of those great passes like we just saw from Jeffa to Jess here, then they have a good chance going forward in this game. Yeah, Jaffa with a great pass in to the middle and Jess is just in, he's just in the great place really to slot that home. And Ascension Trinity taking the lead 2-1. And the blue team certainly on course to take this game if they keep this up. Savak goes up for the shot. Charm gets a fairly easy save yet again. He is going to challenge Charm there, though. As Serenity sends it downfield again. Nobody is in the net at this moment in time. The rotations are there. The defense is messy. It is scrappy, but it is enough. As Jez clears it, sends it back downfield. Drizzle. It's there to catch it off at the corner. Sends it downfield. Bounces off. And the shot is off. But Havoc with the save. Charm is going to catch it. He gets a touch against the wall. But Jez is there to capitalize again. Jaffa goes for the pass. The shot is there. The reflection is there. Jez with another shot. And the save is there for Serenity. The clearance is there. Is anybody going to follow up on Serenity? Though Trizzle is for the time being. He's still there. But Charm sending it downfield once again. And one minute 45 on the clock. And uh, are Agitate Aurus, are they going to be calling fraud after this? I mean, they're just not generating enough chances right here. As actually, they are now in the half for once, but they're actually right there a bit lacking. They have. They, the defense hasn't been clean enough against uh, Ascension. 
up until now, but now Ascension is caught up in a weird place. Serenity takes over too. Can he get the flick? No, the samurai will deny him. You just can't get it past that thing. It's so bloody big. And once it's not a defense, Trizzle will put it into the net. So, lessons learned for Ascension. Keep Havoc in defense to get the safe with the samurai. Yeah, but... <laughs> but let's learn it was learned as it was too big to get past. But 2-2 two two is the scoreline at this point. As the kickoff comes once again, Trizzletan is blocking Jez fairly well. Charm goes for the shot, but Havoc set to catch it. He goes for the flip, unable to do anything with it. Sent back into the middle, but hits the crossbar and is cleared out for the time being. Havoc's going to be there to catch it, unable to get a good touch on it, though. Serenity is there to get the clear. Charm is going to carry this now. He's going to feather his boost well. He is out of boost. Sends it back in to the middle, but the clear is there once again. Drizzle, he's gonna, gonna try to go slow and methodical. Didn't exactly work out that way. So it just went a little bit too fast. Serenity sending it back downfield yet again. Jaffa is there to catch it. He's going to go for the aerial, but Serenity steals it from him. Is he gonna be able to capitalize on it? No, he's not because Havoc with the clear. 30 seconds left, two, two. Who's got this game? To be honest, I think it's pretty much an open game at this point. As a great shot coming from Jaffa, but the safe's equally good. Avoiding the demo as well. Now two on one situation, Serenity and Trizatan. Trizatan trying to go for the demo, can't quite get it. But the offensive pressure is still there. As the shot comes in, third man is demo. Can Serenity get join in time? No, he can't. Jaffa with the snipe, and I think Trinity take this very close game one with this one. Yeah, it has really been a close game, but a great shot. And that just shows the importance of taking one player out of the equation, even just for a few seconds. What a difference that can make as we get into the kickoff. Seven seconds on the clock and Ascension Trinity there on the attack. Again, they go for a shot, but Trizzle is there to get the save. It hits the ground and Ascension Trinity take game one. Yeah, yeah, and that's a good, good start from Ascension Trinity. But Faded, what did you pick up on? Anything in particular? about how Agitate might be going forward? Um, I really think for Agitate, at least, um, when you mentioned it, really, defense seems to be lacking. Um, it, it didn't seem to clock any of these uh, passing attempts coming in from Ascension Trinity, and I feel like that's actually something that Trinity were doing really well, uh, was finding those infields, and really, Agitate were not uh, blocking the passing lanes at all, and so that's really the struggle there. As well as that, I feel like, Ascension, they will try to do this more, especially Havoc, and you need to be aware of those demos because with that last goal, the third man actually got demos and it left an open net for Jaffa to score, so a couple of things they need to keep an eye on for this next game. Um, whilst they did register, uh, well, actually, a pretty similar shot kind of overall, but Ascension managed to edge out. Uh, for I just say, those small things could really make a difference for them uh, in this series as a whole, and so that's something they got to look out for into this next game. I think that game really could have gone either way, but you're really hitting the nail on the head. Your input, greatly appreciated over there, my guy. Faded. So we're going to get into that second game. Agate Aorus versus Ascension, uh, Ascension Trinity. <laughs> As Ascension Trinity. 1-0 up after taking a 3-2 victory in a very close game one. Let's get it underway. So we get straight into the kickoff, Jez and Charm going for it. Again, sent into the middle. A slight touch is there. Trizzle is going to block Jaffa from taking it any further forward. Trizzle is going to try and be methodical. He gets the flick. He gets the goal. How's that not been saved? I tell you right. Uh, I tell you why that hasn't been saved because Havoc switched from the Samurai to the Octane. That's why that. That's the only reason. It's not because the flick was actually really good from Trizzle under control. No, no. The only reason that got in is because Havoc switched from the Samurai, and now they will lose because of that one. Yeah, that's uh, that slight change of that slight change of car. That, that that can make such a difference as it comes back in to the area. The shot is off. It bounces off the backboard. Jesse's there to follow it up. But the block is there once again. Trizzletan, he's going to try and take it. The block is there from two Ascension Trinity players as Serenity catches it. He's going to control this. He's going to be methodical, but Jez is there to challenge it. Sent back downfield once again. It bounces up off the, uh, off the corner and comes straight back down. But Trizzle is there to keep up the pressure. The shot is there. The demos are coming in thick and fast as Jaffa. He's going to go to control it. It's currently 1-0. Still all to play for in this game. 
Yeah, and you see at the transition, Jaffa and uh, Havoc actually unsure what to do, what to exactly do with it. They came up with the right solution at the end, which was of course the pass through your teammate, but it came much too late and the pass wasn't accurate at all. So going forward in this game number two, the passes are open, the passes are there, they just need to work on the accuracy as Havoc and Jess are doing right there, connected for a great passing play. Can't make it work, unfortunately, to get the result, but overall that was much cleaner as there's a weak touch from Jess coming out. Havoc's not rotating fully and Charm will put it in for the 2-0 lead. That's unfortunate on the side of Ascension. Yeah, that was a that was a solid sort of 20 seconds of just disappointment from them. The accuracy wasn't there when they, you know, when they hit that shot, when they went for that shot in the beginning, the accuracy just wasn't there. And then they just were caught falling asleep on that counter-attack as Jaffa is going to hit it off the backboard. Serenity is there to get the block. Again, it's going to bounce off the backboard again. No, it's not because Jez is going to interact with that. He's going to intercept it and stop that from getting any further. Havoc is going to take it, send it in to the middle, but the whiff is there from Jaffa. Serenity, the net has been left wide open for him, but unable to do anything with it. And so was able to rotate in time to get back. So any pinch that against the wall, sends it into the middle. The dunk is there from Trizzle. That'll be 3-0 to agitate Aorus. Yeah, and a bit of a breakdown of communication there. Just going towards the back post, but should have probably slotted behind uh, Havoc there as the ball was coming across the face of the play. And then Havoc being up a little bit too late, probably lacking a bit of boost there. So communication not being as clean as it needs to right now and Agitate just punishing and punishing and punishing Ascension Trinity right now. I'd just say Aurus definitely got a lot of communication to them at this moment in time as it bounces again off the backboard. Charm goes for a second touch, sends it again. Trizzle is able to get the pinch. Sent downfield, it's going to bounce off the corner. The self was there, but a clear from Jez. He sends it back to the middle again. He gets a second touch. A great pass from him. Straight into the path of Charm. That is 4-0 to agitate Aorus. Yeah, Jeff had that with the unfortunate uh, double commit. And Serenity looking for the teammate. Not going for the solo play. He could have easily went for a Doomsie dish there by himself. But he saw Charm in a brilliant position. And he was slotting at home against the defender. 4-0 with two and a half minutes left on the clock. This is getting very, very clear as to who is winning this game too. It's now crucial for Ascension to not make whiffs like that and to not concede anymore. They need to get some momentum, but that's the antithesis of what they need right now. That has fallen apart quicker than Donald Trump's election at this point. What an absolute fail that was. Just completely missed it. And when you're in this level, the pressure may be getting to him a little bit there, and he's just not there to follow that up. And whiffing that like that, you just can't do that. Serenity is going to go up for it again. It's going to bounce off the backboard. He does get a second touch, but nobody's there to follow it up. Sent once again. Trissel gets a touch, but sends it to, to Jez. He's just going to get the shot. The save is there from Charm. Just getting a great touch from him. He's able to read it again and keeps it up for now. Serenity is there trying to get the shot, but unable to try to get the clear even. And it took him a while. He did get it, but it's straight back into that area. And the clearance is there yet again. One minute. 50 seconds on the clock and it seems it's very much doomed for Ascension Trinity in this game. Yeah, this game too is pretty much a write-off at this point. Just get your focus back, take this uh, last like 100 seconds off and try to get back into a positive mental space because this could be if they don't do that then this could be very decisive for the series at large. Remember they are 1-0 up in the series so they can they can allow to to lose that game. But right now, they need to put the mentality up because Agitated Aorus is probably in a very good space mentally right now. Feeling good, feeling loose, and just feeling not feeling the pressure of this very important match overall. Remember, the winner of this stays in the Champions Conference for ECC Season 8. The loser has to play Nox Esports Atlanta right after this match. As there's a shot coming through from Jess after the great pinch between Havoc and one of the uh, Agitated defenders. It was Charm. Great pinch there, and Jess being able to beat in and put it into the net. That's the kind of momentum they need right now. What? What a little goal that was. That was a great pass into someone in the area. It was just there at the perfect time. And that is what you need at this point. You've halted that momentum. It's still there. There was Jess. It's forced to make the clear. Serenity sending it back to the middle, but nobody's there to follow that up. Havoc is going to get the clear. Charm is going to catch it pretty easily. 
the block attempt was there, unable to do anything with it. Jaffa passes it down yet again. Serenity is there. He's going to go for the shot. The save is there from Havoc. And again, Havoc showing exactly how well he has been performing thus far. Again, the pass is there. The shot is off Jez. The momentum is there for Jez and the boys in blue for Ascension Trinity. Yeah, and I think it was Jaffa who get, come out there with the bump on the last defender because the rotation just didn't seem to be there, so it had to be a bump. And this allowing Ascension to build more momentum. Now, Entertate, they need to break this, ideally in this game, by putting in a sixth one. But at the latest, in the first minute of game number three, when Ascension are still feeling up, now you have to strike, now you have to be lethal. You do in Giza set back downfield. Caught once again by Trizzle, though the shot is off. Are they going to be able to do anything with it? No, they're not because the clearance is there. Trizzle pops it up once again. Serenity is going to go for it. Three seconds on the clock and Havoc forced to make another save. He's going to go for that one more time. I just say Aurus, they're going to take this game 5-2. to two, But crucial momentum is in Ascension Trinity's ballpark. Yeah, they do have... Well, they are starting to bring some momentum back, I must say. Because um, they did come back from that abysmal start. I mean, 5 0 down in the first half of the game. Not what you want to see out of Jez and the boys. It really just came down. You could it's blatantly obvious. There was just a lack of communication all around that resulted in a lot of timidness from the players. And I just think they did what they had to do to capitalize on those chances and that's just fair enough to them. But you saw in that second half essentially Trinity really brought it together, got a couple goals back and so they know that they're on a level playing field now. And so he's got a start to let that snowball through because uh, I feel like Ascension could be the ones, you know, they are probably edging out to be the slightly better team uh, in this matchup, but they can't um, let them foot off the gas at all here um, because otherwise they'll just have a repeat of that. Yeah, I think overall as well, the punish game from Agitate, we see it that eight shots and five goals is a really good conversion rate. They've just been very, very accurate and very, very lethal when it comes to cr using those chances that Ascension allows them to have. So if Ascension can clean up their rotation and their communications, I think then they have they stand a really strong chance because, as you said, they seem to be the better team overall. But yeah, mistakes will cost you, especially in Champions Division. So let's see if in Game 3 Ascension gets another abysmal start or if they can keep it together this time. Game 3 is underway. Again, thank you to Faded for his awesome uh, analysis as the shot comes in. Straight away, the goal is there. Six seconds in. And Ascension, Trinity, they have come out of the box. The mail-in ballots, they are being counted. Yeah, and no one is going to deny that that vote there from Jez as he puts it in behind the defender. Just a good kickoff once again, as, as they had in uh, game number one. So they now need to keep on building on that momentum. They have scored three unanswered goal, goals in a row now. And Agitate needs to get out of defense and get something going. This isn't game number two, it's over. This game started at nil-nil, and Agitate needs to realize that quickly. Again, the shot is off from Jaffa, but the save is there from Champ Serenity. Unable to do anything with it, though. But it looks like Havoc a little bit slow to respond. Trizzle is there to catch it, and it sends it in to the corner. But Jess is there to intercept. The pass is off, the shot is off, and that is goal number two. Yeah, bit of a breakdown there. Someone needed to call Charm. He wanted to take his time, which is the right approach there, but someone needed to call that Jaffa was onto him and was going for that hard read on the on his touch. Just a bit of a breakdown there, and that will lead to the 2-0 lead of, uh, of Ascension in game number three. They're really coming up the game swinging here in this one. That is what you need to do. You need to come out straight away as the shot is off again, but the block is there from Jez. A touch comes in, a little bit of miscommunication there. Did try to get out of the way. The pass is there to the middle. But Havoc nearly saving his own shot. Trizzle ends up making the save anyway. Sent to the middle. Jaffa's there with the shot. Trizzle with another block. But a little bit off target once again. Serenity carrying it again. He gets the flick. It's going to bounce off the backboard. The goal is there. Serenity does it all. Uh, does it all with a bit of help from Jaffa there. Unfortunate double tap own goal here. He's just bit caught in a difficult place. You've probably gone to the backboard to avoid that exact thing happening. And yeah, that's that's really unfortunate on the side of Ascension. Hopefully that doesn't kill too much of their momentum right now. And 
We have three minutes 40 left on the clock, and Agitate have plenty of time to stage a comeback here. Plenty of time indeed, but the shot is off. And just like that, again, another accurate representation of the United States election right there. Yeah, Serenity, unfortunate backflip there. Try to get up for it, and Trizzle nearly getting back to it. Just ran out of uh, boost or time, I guess, to get the save and Ascension reestablished their two goal lead in game number three. Game number three underway is Havoc. He's going to carry it. He's going to try and pass it to Jaffa. Unable to do anything with it, though. Jess is there to intercept. He gets a touch yet again. Serenity just sat in that corner at the moment, waiting for it to go out. Again, sent down field. As Trizzle's going to follow it up, he's going to get the shot. But the block is there from Havoc. The demo comes from Trizzle on Havoc. To take him out of the equation for the time being. But is it really going to affect the game that much at that moment in time? That that particular demo probably not as much, but it's still good to get rid of your team, uh, your opponents to get something to get a bit more space on the f on the field even. So any demo is a good demo, but obviously some are more effective than others. As all three agitate players are stuck up field, and Jeff misses the sitter. Can have a kill to turn it in. Yes, he can. That was lucky for Ascension. They nearly didn't score that one. Was that intentional? Was it not intentional? I don't think that was intentional. That's disappointing for Java, but a great pass from him. 4-1 is the scoreline for Ascension Trinity. They have come out of the box once again as it goes up from the corner. Serenity just does nothing with it. It just sort of bounced against the ceiling and stops. Jaffa gets a touch, gets another goal. It is all falling apart for Agitate Aurus. We pretty much see the reverse what happened in game number two here, where Ascension is just punishing every mistake that Agitate do and with incredible precision, other than Jeffa before that last goal. Um, they are able to punish the mistakes. Charm this time being just called too far upfield, being too aggressive. And right now with the four goal deficit, you have to ask Agitate if they are willing to write off this game similarly what, to what Ascension did in the on the last game when they were running away with it or if they are still exerting all of their energy to maybe come back. Four goals in two minutes is possible, but it's going to cost you a lot of energy. It's going to take a lot of a lot of time, a lot of energy in. It did as the shot comes in, and <laughs> nothing is, can be done about it. It comes back in again. Havoc is there to get the block, and it just seems like there's a disconnect between the players, and they're all playing as individual players. But even so, they're just not playing that well. Yeah, and especially if you play against a team, against a team like Ascension Trinity, who are focusing more on those team plays, looking for one another and keeping the trying to keep the rotations as clean as possible. If you're trying to uh, stage one-man shows all over the pitch, it's gonna be very, very difficult to break through that solid rotation. So it needs something else, and they first of all they need to stop conceding, as Jess puts the absolute banger into the goal right here. Agitate Aurus. They deserve to be relegated at this point. This is just ridiculous at this moment in time. 6-1 is the scoreline to Ascension Trinity. And it is all going on. But they have a life as Charm. Slots that into the net after a great pass right there. Off there and Havoc being a bit timid on the backboard. Pro should have probably challenged it earlier. Charm just hunting that ball down, giving off some life uh, signals like we're not dead, we're not stopping. So that's good moving forward. Now they, similarly to what Ascension did, they need to build on that one and keep that momentum that they now slowly but surely can garner. They need to keep that going as no one is back again, but the rotation will come through for Agitate, who are just getting pounced on by Jess, who nearly gets the dooms he did all by himself. So yeah. The defense holding strong for now, but there's a whiff coming out. Havoc didn't expect that whiff. And now they can finally have some time, but Jess is pushing immediately. Serenity is up for it. Does he get the second touch? Yes, he does. Can Jeff get the shot? No, it's blocked by Serenity. And Agitate Auras survived the first assault. Survive is the term to use right there. How has that not gone in it yet again? As Serenity on a storm of a game the shot comes in what a pass that was what a shot from trizzle but the save is there from jaffa it's in a bounce against the ceiling 
And Havoc is going to catch it on the back at the backboard as he sends it once again. Serenity trying to go for that shot. The shot comes in from Havoc, and the scoreline is 7 2 to Ascension Trinity. Yeah, nearly missing out on the Brazil there, but great pass from Jaffa and great speed there from Havoc. Although I don't think that ball necessarily crossed the line with its full circumference, but Rocket League gives it, so we're going to give it as well. The VAR decision would have been a sketchy one here, but Ascension will take it nonetheless. And we're now 7 2 up in this game, number three. Very, very clear victory from Ascension as they're trying to get the series done and dust it with faster rather than slower. Yeah, a great flip reset there from Jaffa for that shot. And it is a, a, it's just a fall apart game for Agitators at this point. Hits the ground and Ascension Trinity, they are going to take that victory by a, a whopping lead. 7-2. Well, 7-2. Faded, what are you thinking over there, sir? Well, my thinking, I mean, I think that was just a very dominant game from Ascension Trinity on attack. You could just see, um, you know, they're, they, you've got a clear plan when they're approaching their attacks. So they're always trying to find those passing plays and breaking out of the defense, but also the sheer speed that they're doing it as well has caught actually out time and time again. It especially becomes problematic when you look at how they're positioning the third man and not just how the third man's positioning but what they're doing with the ball once they get it because it just seems like every time they get such a poor touch and it puts their team in a really unfavorable position and so really that third man not only needs to put himself in a good position but also needs to make sure he takes the control and tries to back out because otherwise trinity are just gonna be piling on pressure 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 over and over uh, and that's what we know Ascension for. They are brilliant at doing that, and they show no signs of slowing down at the moment. Yeah, I think overall that Agitate just needs to be able to be a lot cleaner and a lot faster with their rotation, because their third man, as you said, is way too aggressive. He needs to be sticking more to the back post. They all have to be a bit more clean, and I think that's the main thing they need moving forward. From 13 shots to only get four saves in that last game, that's really, really poor. Even if a lot of shots from Ascension were good, still, uh, four, three, uh, only four saves from 13 shots, that's, that's just not good enough in Champions Division, and that will... That will just cost you the games, as we can see, right, as we saw that last one. And now in game number four, hopefully Agitate can bounce back to give us a really, really good series here. But Ascension are definitely looking like the stronger side at this point. As again, Trizzle is going to get it. He's going to get the flick. He slots it into the top corner. And Trizzle, he is the man on fire over there at this moment in time. Yeah, and he needs to be that man to maybe get his teammate riled up, get some hype going on in the comms. Oh, calm, of course, but a bit hyped so you can actually feel the positive energy, not be toxic, not be self-detrimental, and just keep on going forwards as there's a mid coming up from Jess, and Charm is going to take a top corner. 2-0, two very, very quick goals for uh, for Agitate Auris, and do we see a repeat of game number two here? Is this... Is this how the series is going to go? Just trouncing after trouncing after trouncing after trouncing. Back and forth action and back and back and forth goals. Oh, it is just back and forth games. As the scoreline 2-0 to Agitate Aurus and the series is still anybody's to take. 2-1 to Ascension Trinity as once again we are underway. Sent back downfield by Trizzle yet again. Jaffa is there get a little pinch but serenity is there to get a block he's going to go for another touch on that unable to do anything with it Trizzle with a great rotation though but jazz again sending it to downfield it's going to come off the post right now sends him and havoc flying as it gets sent back down field jazz is going to go for it Jez wins that encounter but gives up possession in the process havoc comes in with a lot of power just pinches it against the car and it is cleared fairly easily, but again, coming straight back in. And I've said it time and time again, as it just gets yeeted downfield, completely out of possession right there. I've said it time and time again, you keep attacking that wall, eventually it will break down. There's Agitate just turtling into defense at this, at this point. Not really anything going forward, except for that one shot that was unfortunately wide, but now Ascension being caught a bit forward, Havoc may, having uh, to make a 
decent -ish, safe and clear. But now again, looking for each other on defense when transitioning out. Jazz and Havoc this time, working together as a unit. As Serenity needs to have that touch, misses, but Jaffa didn't expect that one. And now that Agitate are back into the turtle mode, just get it, getting onto defense, trying to leave everything clean and trying to evade goals rather than putting on some pressure of their own. Jazz catches it once again, sends it downfield to Trizzle for a little game of ping pong. Jaffa gets a very awkward touch. Havoc getting the pass to Jaffa. Jaffa unable to do anything with it as it's intercepted. Going to bounce off the backboard from Jazz, but Trizzle is there to intercept and get the clearance. Sent straight back in field from Jaffa, but Havoc getting a very awkward touch on that to avoid the defenders. It doesn't end up going in the net. It's Jazz does a backflip to get rid of it for the time being. Jaffa, he's going to... He, fake his opponent there a little bit as Trizzle is able to catch that shot the follow-up comes in fairly quickly but again unable to do anything with it and Charmy tries to get the save unable to do so Havoc slots it home and right now they are hashtag gaming yeah and Jazz actually normally he saves those uh, he not safe he scores those shots and Havoc just gets a great 50 onto Serenity I believe it was and then again, the third man of Agitate not being in the proper position, moving up too quickly, being like, okay, yeah, this looks safe. When in fact, Havoc was going for the 50 very aggressively there. He needed to recognize that and stay a bit further back. This is what breaking Agitate's back here. The third man is way too aggressive right for them right now. Them little bits of communications that will come from teaming together. Serenity is able to get it past all three, spot it home with ease. And Ascension Trinity, they've fallen apart once again. Yeah, four shots, three goals from Agitate. I wouldn't necessarily say fall, uh, fallen apart, but the, whenever uh, Agitate do get on offense, which rarely happens, they are very, very deadly because their shots are really accurate. They, Whenever they make contact in the, in the box, they just try to just absolutely power it into top bins, and that's what Serenity did right there. So now Ascension once again with the 2-0 de uh, two goal deficit on their hands as there's a great dunk from a Serenity against Jess, but the crossbar denies him and gives him a absolutely horrendous bounce as well. That should have been the four fourth goal by all means, but Ascension Trinity coming away with murder on that one. Gotta get away with murder in these games. We're at that point where everything is really competitive. Sent back down field again. The shot is off and it's just wide by the slightest margin. The charm sends it into the middle again. Havoc is able to get the clear. The rotation comes in from Jez. He bounces it against Havoc's cow, which props it up. A little bit awkward right now as nobody's there to follow it up. Havoc with a great rotation again. Jaffa is there to prop it up to prevent the counter attack for the time being. The pass comes in from Havoc on it. Jaffa unable to do anything with it. As Charm is showing exactly how charming he is by getting it past one defender fairly easily right there. Sent back into the middle yet again. And it's just back and forth. And it seems that Ascension Trinity, they've got the pressure. But can they convert that into goals? Right now, it seems that the turtle strat from uh, Agitate Auras is actually paying dividends as the Charmful Man Charm just punts it forward. Jess is there, evades the demo as well. And those little breakout opportunities, they're always just enough for them to get some boost pets, to get repositioned in defense, and to, you know, be properly positioned for anything Ascension tries to throw at them. But that also has their, has its own difficulties, namely infield passing. If Ascension can figure that one out and uh, maybe get some of those infield passes uh, going, then we can see a different result than this game for victory to Agitate Aorus. But with their victory, we're moving into effectively best of three territory right now. And this has been a back and forth series faded. Who do you think has it going forward? It's tough to say, Max, really, because I mean, both these teams will be playing on extremes almost. At the moment, I'm starting to maybe favor Agitate a little bit because you saw them change the way they approach the defense and you know, yes, they're totally up a little bit. It's not ideal, but it was working against Ascension Trinity. Um, I feel like what Ashley can do is really try to, you know, stay in the attack 
a lot more if they can. And that needs some more midfield presence. You know, hold that line down if they can. You know, half rotate a bit more if you need to. Anything, because Ajate um, seem to be the better team offensively, but on defense is where they seem to struggle. So if they can just keep Ascension pinned in their own half as much as they can, and that will lead to some more success for them going forward. It's always an issue when you can't finish an Ascension Trinity. They seem to be having that issue at the moment. Unable to slot their chances home. Unable to finish and satisfy the need for the goals. As we're getting in to game number... I really want to say five, four, five, four. Where number are we up five. to? Game, game number, five. number five. Absolute madness. I just say Auris versus Ascension Trinity. Uh, what a strange series we've been treated to so far. Yeah, definitely a very strange series going into game number five. Very back and forth. Every game just being basically, except for game one, that was quite close overall. But games two, three, and four just being very lopsided. If, if though that keeps happening for the remainder of the series, then we should see a strong game for uh, Ascension right now. And... Maybe we do see that, but no early goal has been scored this game. Just a bit of fresh air. Comes straight back in again. Trizzle is able to get the touch. It bounces. Jaffa is able to get the clear. And Jaffa will be happy with that one as Serenity is able to catch his shot with ease and get the clear for now. Jez takes possession from him, though, with the pass back to the defender. The communication definitely there at that time. He manages to fake one. He's unable to get it past two, and unfortunately for Charm, his Charm didn't do anything for him there. Serenity props it up once again, bounces it out of that corner, but Havoc is there to send it downfield once again into that area. Charm is able to get the clear. Jeff is going to catch it, though, and <laughs> Trizzle just stuck in between two players at that time. Sends it again downfield. Serenity is there to follow it up. He gets the touch. The pass is there into the middle. Cham unable to do anything with it, though, as Jez is there to intercept. The pass is there to Jaffa. Jaffa is going to try and do something with it. He gets the fake. And th they're, all, they're, playing, they're playing really passively, but really smartly at the same time. Yeah, they're not the most aggressive bunch, Agitate Auras, uh, but whenever they they can switch it up at an instant in defense, you will see uh, some cuts coming in from Cham in particular, who's just cutting in to help his teammates when Ascension realized that they are passive in defense and they're trying to take it slowly uh, to get it around them one by one. But Charm being that one guy mostly coming in as third who's just calling the teammates, okay, just stall for a bit, I'm gonna cut in. I'm gonna come in just to save those ones. That's Jess with a great shot for Serenity with the clear and avoiding Havoc's dunk as well. Now Trizzle being tasked on the backboard to deal with that one. Little bit of breakdown of communication as Serenity goes for a flip reset. Does get it, but doesn't make contact with it as Havoc just bounces it high. There's a pass coming up from Trizzle to Jez. Serenity on the backboard can get it. And Ascension trying to waste a lot of Agitate's boost right here. Trying to build some pressure right now. Pressure is what you need as Serenity gets another clear out for now. The touch comes in and it bounces from Jaffa to his teammate. The sh oh, that could have been very dangerous. Trizzle is able to get the touch. To slot it, at, to just hit it against the ground. But clear is there. Jaffa sending it downfield. Jez whiffs it once again. He is not having the best game. Trizzle waiting for the boost, but it, nothing is appearing for him. Sent back downfield. Jaffa's there to get the clear once again. And Charm, he's going to take it. He's going to go for an air dribble. Unable to do anything with it, though, as Havoc gets rid of it. The play of these teams changed dramatically, and it is working for them so far. Nil nil, one minute forty five on the clock, and it is still anybody's game. Never mind. What happened there, then Ascension? Both players, Jaffa and Havoc, being caught upfield, and Jess just going for an aggressive push. Don't know what he was thinking. Probably he thought his uh, teammates would rotate bit back a bit faster, but he just leaves the net wide open, and the shot comes through. That's a really unfortunate goal to concede, especially I was going to compliment them. This looks more like the close game that game one was rather than the slaughters we have witnessed in games two, three and four. But everything's going to waste as there's a great fifth from Serenity. Charm not being able to make contact, but gets it passed back in mid. Trizzle 
needs to be up for that 50, does so, and just dunks completely over Jess. Two on one situation, but Havoc gets a great clear air. Serenity going in with the shot, but Jaffa will transition it out of defense into offense right now for Ascension Trinity. Yeah, they need to speed up a little bit, and the, the urgency is there for Ascension and Trinity as they look to battle back from this one goal deficit at this point. The pinch is there for Charm. He's going to try and follow it up. He does get a touch, but doesn't win that 50. Trizzle's able to get it past one. Is he able to get it past two? No, he's not, because Shaffer is there to get the save. The pinch comes in from Jez on the floor, but again, the block is there. Charm is there with the shot. A great save from Havoc, though, coming across the goal to save that. Jaffa getting a very awkward touch there, but Jez is there. Serenity goes for the shot once again. Trizzle rotating at the same time. Great rotation from the Adjusei Aurus side. And this is what you need. You need to be that turtle. You need to be as defensive as possible at this point because you've only got 20 seconds on the clock. They're really smartly keeping the possession as well, getting into turtle position, but crucially keeping control of the ball as well, not trying to overextend to score a second decider, but rather take the ball into your corner, make Ascension use a lot of boost and make them overcommit. So now, and that is what exactly what happened as Jess tries to get it into Havoc, but Agitate Auras go on match point for this game number and win game number five, three, two now in the series. Yeah, that was what that we need was... if you're Agitate Auras. What are you saying over there, Faded? Sorry about that. Yeah, I was gonna say really that was uh, actually I've got to respect the playstyle change from Agitate. I actually like to see it because they've gone um, into a more passive yet controlled playstyle, and that's helped them so much uh, to keep control of the game. It has yes made it a lot closer. Um, but my word is working dividends for them. You can see the rotation is a lot cleaner for them, and I think it allows them to uh, stay more consistent in this series. And really, that can just came down to one just slow rotation from Trinity. I mean, it sounds a bit daft, but that's literally what happens. You know, they rotated a bit too wide, and there's no one in the net. Um, simple as that. So I mean, I just think they have the upper hand in this. They have. Two lives remaining in the series, as opposed to the session trinity is one. So maybe if actually can keep that play up, maybe they can eventually grind down this trinity side and earn their promotion back to the champions division. Yeah, definitely. As agitate now on match point going into game six. This is a must-win game for Ascension if they want to avoid having to play Nox Esports Atlanta. Uh, later this evening but as we go into game number six essentially need a strong start they have shown that they can score kickoff goals maybe they can do one right now mikey as it's trizzle versus jess on the kickoff yeah kickoff going the way of ascension trinity havoc is going to try and get rid of it he does manage to get it for the time being bounces it off jess sends it downfield back into the area serenity gets the demo on jess to mess up that rotation a little bit serenity Coming off the corner to get the touch. Jez is there to steal it. But they are there in the net. And that was very, very close as Jaffa tries to slot it home. Unable to do anything with it for the time being though. So any attempting to clear it. Unable to clear it for now. Comes again back into the box. But the clearance is there. Jaffa is going to be there with it again. He's going to go for the air dribble. He gets taken out of the equation for now. The shot comes in from Jez. But it is off target again. And that really was the kryptonite of Ascension Trinity. Unable to finish their chances. There's another shot. Another one comes in. How many attempts on that goal have we just seen that have all been off target? Well, according to Rocket League, it was three, but the pressure is mounting to much more than that as Jaffa finally being able to push that one into the net. Serenity there with an unlucky heavy touch. Charm needing to make that read happen, but Jaffa just quicker than him on that occasion and going into that first minute, leaving that first minute with the first goal of game number six. And now this is more like uh, Ascension did in game number two, where uh, game number three rather, where they just, just smother, uh, agitate on defense, not allowing them to make those control touches that they so heavily rely on. And this, if they can keep this amount of pressure up, if they can keep the boost stealing and the boost starving up, this could get a very, could indeed be a very long game for Agitate. Very long game indeed, as Trizzle is there to catch it yet again. Charm is going to challenge it. 
and gets rid of it for the time being. Charm is there again, bouncing it very awkwardly against that wall. But Jez is there to win that ferocious exchange. The shot comes in. Serenity with a fairly easy save. Jaffa with another shot. Charm is there to get the clearance. He just taps it up as Havoc is not going to let him take it any further as he comes in with that demo. Trizzle is there. He gets the shot. Jaffa with a fairly easy save once again. Havoc again gets demoed. They are taking him out as Jez comes in with the demo on Charm. Havoc takes the ball out of the area for the time being. Serenity takes it over. Comes in. Jez gets a touch. Serenity gets another touch. Bounces off a teammate. The rotation isn't there. Is anybody there to follow it up? No, they aren't. Havoc is going to try and send it into the middle. But there isn't an Essential Trinity player to slot it home. Havoc gets the demo on Serenity. And it is Demo City at the moment as the shot comes in. And Trizzle gets another save. We now enter the second half of the match. I think that Ascension has figured out that Agitator are wanting to play it slowly. And thus they are speeding up. And Jaffa gets an amazing banger into the far corner. Top pins, 2-0, 2 221 left on the clock in game number six. What a banger from Jaffa. No chance for Trizzletan, who unfortunately backflips as well. And this is the aggression that Ascension need against the slow and passive facer from Agitate. So if Agitate want to succeed right now, they need to switch it up a bit. What a great goal that was. They really figured out their speeds and they are capitalizing on it. Ascension Trinity taking us to 2-0 and potentially a game number seven in what has been a weird but enticing series thus far as it pops back up into the middle but the block is there from havoc serenity is going to send it down field it's not in though as jez is there to, to get the deflection jaffa's going to carry it downfield once again charm catches it but it bounces up into the area trissel is there to get the block jez with the shot and it comes in off the post didn't expect that one to go in, but that is 3-0 right there. That is indeed 3-0 right there as Jess just with the help of the post who, which for once, nice, um, just taking it in. No way they could save that one. And the turtling up strategy is definitely showing its weaknesses. Ascension Trinity has them red all the way. And now actually need, they definitely, especially for game seven now, they need to be switching it up. I think this game stick is pretty much safe in the hands of Ascension, but let's see if Agitate can generate some momentum. We have seen the teams rallying back in past games for games coming up, and the next one will be no doubt the most most important one of their ECC Season 7 League Play season, as there's a great amount of pressure going on, but the shots are getting saved from Jaffa this time. Oh, uh, yes, and unfortunately, everyone make his fire alarms went off to me at this point, so I'm going to be stepping in for a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's going to be really important in this game seven, Max, because, uh, you know, at Trinity, I've got a lot of pressure. They have figured out how to counter this play style from Agitate. Um, and really, it's just answering it by a lot of this fast play and these infield passes. What a play coming out from Jaffa and Havoc. That's the kind of Trinity we love to see as they get to 4 0. Just smashing at this game. And especially only three shots coming out from Agitate as well compared to Trinity's 10. So there's a lot of the discrepancy going on going on here as Agitate trying to recover, but they just get trounced on any time they touch the ball and Ascension player is trying to go immediately on them. And right there, Charm just needlessly throwing that ball and does the possession away. Didn't need to do that at all. He just had time and boost once. For once, they had time to play it slow and they didn't. Maybe the, the nerves are getting to them as nearly a fifth comes in from the pass of Havoc. Ascension Trinity looking very sharp and very ready for that game number seven right now. Oh, absolutely. This game has been uh, magnificent, really, for them for the most part. Just not giving Agitate anything at all. And they're going to start one more. Doesn't look like it, but nevertheless, Trinity, wow, very clean game. It looks like they're going to have to take a, a little bit of a break. Jaffa's asking for a couple of minutes, and uh, we won't allow that for him. So it gives us more time, Max, uh, to discuss this game and maybe uh, allow Mikey to get back from uh, having to leave for the fire alarm in this building. So, I mean, this game seven, absolutely critical here. I to take, we know they have to change something up because 
Um, it's really desperation time. You need to figure out an answer to this, otherwise it's going to be over. So, Max, what do you reckon that thing is going to be for Agitate? I think they want to keep uh, trying to make their slow and more passive playstyle work because it has worked for them in the in past games. But what they need is they need the first man especially to be a bit more aggressive, maybe hunt for some demos to try to break that solid rotation that uh, Ascension have going in offense. Because if they if they manage to do that, then I can see Agitate being really successful right here. And maybe, f as again, forcing those individual errors out of Ascension that have been showing to be a bit of a pain for them in the, pa in the past games. But at the same time, Agitate, they can't allow themselves to be too aggressive or to overcommit too much because this is game number seven. And anything can, can and probably will happen given the quirky nature of this this series so they need to be more aggressive but they need to dial it in as they need to be careful with their aggression at the same time whereas ascension if they just keep on the pressure like they did without the mistakes like uh, as they had in earlier games they're just looking very peachy indeed yeah i would totally agree with you there um when it comes to agitate um yes they need a lot more aggression because i feel like at the moment at least the last game they were a bit too slow uh, especially on their transitions to offense. Um, but if they can, uh, you know, if the third man can keep in mind, right, just make sure you stay back. So position yourself in a way where you can uh, follow up on offensive plays, but at the same time, if things don't go uh, as planned, you can dial back and be able to keep the net safe, which was a, um, you know, repeating problem for them in previous games. Whereas the Trinity, yeah, basically keep the same thing up. Just keep... Uh, battering them with shots basically and don't let anything of that stuff by because that really uh, paid off here but uh, we know it's going to be a huge clash of play styles max in this last game uh, both the teams are going to definitely take this time to discuss what they want to do how they're going to approach this one game because it's the final game in this series you know you don't want to play another one right after this to fight to stay in the division uh, you want to finish it off right here and right now and be done for the night yeah, definitely. The but that is added pressure as well because you actually really want to avoid playing uh, Nox esports who are who are still fresh. Of course, they have scrimmed, but they are still fresh compared to you, especially f with this grueling game seven uh, on the horizon. But now, this allows the this timeout from Jaffa has come at a very very bad time indeed because Agitate can use this minute or two more that they have. To regroup and to get the um, to get everything back in order, as Jeffa is indeed coming back, and we get game number seven underway. Faded. What's your final prediction for this one? Uh, it's tough to say, really, but at the moment, I'm leaning towards Trinity to take this one. Um, I think they're going to try snowball with momentum throughout uh, this final game. Not to count out Agitate at all, but I'm just not convinced at the moment. But let's go into game number seven, kicking things off here. We've got Serenity trying to take this one down the field. Have a good at this movement to the back wall and go for a shot, actually. But does not catch any of the defenders off guard. Now, Serenity with a good cut there. Jez and Jaffa on top of each other on that one. It will allow Trussell to take control of it as Jaffa, a good challenge in the midfield. Serenity now into the opposing corner. Havoc going to try to put it down the wing. Does find a dunk and gets it past another man. Charm is the only one back. A good challenge, but will be enough. Seemingly not, unless you can make that save that was super close for them. Agitate just barely getting away with that one, Mark. Yeah, but a great save coming out there from Charm. After a bit of a heavy touch for the first one, the recovery was there to get the save, but they, even though they're breaking out of defense, they don't keep track of possession, and now they have it as Serenity. Great, takes it on under one and takes out the defender as well. Jeffa needs to jump in from a difficult angle here to make that save somehow happen. Now Serenity being called back. Trizzle needs to beat Havoc, doesn't do so, and Havoc will make you pay for it. 1-0 for Ascension Trinity in this crucial game number seven. Yeah, really good challenge there from Jaffa. He knew he had to get a contest up on. If it went the right way, then Havoc was definitely going to be ready for that. You know, starting on the right foot here for Trinity. They want to get that first goal and keep momentum going. It's now five goals in a row unanswered for them. So 
really good stuff from them, but let's Trizzle that down. One does give a chance to charge. We know for shooting, he puts it high and a follow up does not come through from Trizzle as now Serenity has to dial back. We've been talking about this Darkman positioning problem, but it may not bite them just yet as Havoc's making it so awkward and Jaffa actually takes it off of him. An unorthodox play, but it works out perfectly for Trinity. Yeah, Havoc just laying up his teammate, trying to go for the flip he set himself, but Jaffa is like, no, 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 I've got this, I've got this. And Trizzle just being caught back in net, no way he could have got that. The only possibility was the squishy save, which, if that's your only possibility to save your shot, you're in dire straits, as there's a good layoff coming from Jess onto Havoc. Agitate Auras, they need to break out of defense and they need to break out fast. They have three minutes left, but time can fly away in Rocket League sometimes. Yeah, definitely. You know, time can just burn away um, just, you know, in the drop of a hat, really. So, time is definitely of the essence for Agitate. It might not seem like it, but, you know, going back and going to play these last couple games, it definitely seems that way as Jaffa taking control of this and you know, work it into the opposing box. He's got no boost, but look at him. Really playing time well there as Serenity is going to pick it up. He finds himself with a little bit of space, but struggling for control over that ball. And Havoc's going to be able to take it off of him. And now Havoc, we know for his one skills, what can he do? He tries to get behind Triz, but what a save from him to keep it out. But now here comes Jaffa looking for a solo play of his own. Serenity really hesitant on the goal line, and that can very nearly result in a goal for Trinity. As now Trizzle's going to try to get this one out. And a demo from Jaffa will take the opponent out, but Serenity does have possession look to transition it into the attack because we've still got half the game to go but it's really crunch time now for agitate as they could have a chance but brilliant touch from jez and that all allowed trinity to break out their half and they're trying and havoc just cutting in their rotation actually was it was on his way back jeffa caught him on brilliantly there and has a banger of a shot serenity no chance there as the third man and now three no so Agitate were trying something different, they were a bit more aggressive on offense, going for a bit more bumps and demos, but overall Ascension just being able to avoid them effectively and just making you pay for not man-marking Havoc at this point, because he's having a really, really strong game number, uh, game number seven. He's putting Ascension on his back, he doesn't want them to relegate, but right now that's a great passing play from Serenity and Charm. Havoc once again there in position to make the save and now he's trying to get the ball outside of his own box but the dunk comes in from Charm. 1 minute 45 left on the clock. Everything's possible. Everything is possible indeed. It was a very aggressive challenge from Jaffa. Uh, well, not Jaffa, it was uh, Charm, sorry, but Jaffa couldn't make it back in time on that one. And there's a few in the chat there. I mean, I can understand not being happy about that one, but it's a breath of life, some hope for Agitate in this one. They were having some decent chances though. You saw them connect a pretty solid infield pass, but the shot just was not it. It's Jez off the post. Jaffa puts the shot high again. That like, could have been another chance to seal it, but we will keep on playing here. As Shuttle's got to pick this one up. Can he get it out of Havoc with the shot? And it's just back post rotation, not there for the Agitate defender as Jez will punish. Yeah, Charm just too far forwards, moving out, moving in to, for, towards the front post just too quickly. And Jess will make you pay for that one. Three goal, three goal lead reinstated. 123 left on the clock for this one. Agitate, they had some uh, they had some momentum going after their goal. But it seems to have been like, as soon as they lost possession after the initial kickoff, they just lost any momentum that they garnered. And now Charm trying to make something work alone, not using Serenity, who was there in his, on his right for support. As now Trinity can run, just run down the time. Keep the ball high, keep it floaty, not too fast, and make Agitate use a lot of boost for everybody, every, every of their touches. So, and they're doing that very effectively as Havoc gets the touch on it, but somehow misses his absolute sitter. He's absolutely furious with himself as he just turtles in the opponent's corner. 2 on 1 now. Serenity gets it past Jess. 40 seconds, two goals. Hmm, I think it. Uh, no, actually, it's really, really tough here for Agitate to come back. I mean, um, they got away with a free goal practically there because Havoc, which is AFK. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't like Serenity to get that one. So, 
I mean, it's again a chance, but I don't think 40 seconds is going to be enough. Maybe if Serenity hits that corner read, though, he doesn't get it. But Trez has another chance, but again, the shot is too weak. But that touch, oh, was pretty good for him. But Havoc, again, a monster on defense at the moment, saves that follow up shot. That's our Jez Boomer just wide of the net. There's another shot for coming in, trying to dunk it down. But Havoc will put it in for goal number five, and that surely them make you back into the champions division. I love upsets, but I don't think this is happening. Three goals in 19 seconds. They have to get incredibly lucky with their kickoffs right now, or incredibly skilled uh, with their kickoffs right now to make something happen. But after this kickoff, I don't see anything going for them anymore. I think we can safely say that Ascension Trinity, by the skin of their teeth, will remain in the Champions Division for next ECC season. As maybe they will put on a sixth. Jaffa and Havoc trying to connect for the pinch. They just can't make it. A Jaffa leaving early. That's a bit of BM there. But overall, Ascension Trinity takes the series in seven games. They had to climb a mountain for that one. And Agitate Auras will face Nox Esports Atlanta now in the next round of this promotion relegation quote-unquote tournament. Yes, indeed, Max. And I'm really excited to see how that one will go. As you said, it made it a pretty close cool series, but in the end, Trinity clutched it out and just props to them. It was a uh, brilliant last two games to put out there. So all the credit goes to Ascension. So welcome back to the Champions Division, guys. You deserved it. But now Agitate, they have their final life in this promotion relegation tournament. They have to face off against Knox Esports Atlanta, as you just mentioned, Max. But we're just going to throw it to a break right away. We're a bit behind schedule. We'll, we will be back shortly for the next match. It will be again Agitate Oris and Knox Esports Atlanta. Don't get anywhere. We will be right back.